All right, well, I'm going to do my best at doing a voiceover with this uh, footage I got here. I'll here with Chicken Hawk Farmstead. And today, if you can't tell already from the image on the screen, we got the second part of our house. It's a manufactured house. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen them many times come down the road. And they bring them in on uh, two halves. So they brought the, uh, the first half right after we had a big uh, snowstorm. Ice storm, all that. Once that finally cleared up, had like two days of rain. And the day after that, they brought the second half. Uh, right there in the corner of the driveway, I'll try to put a little marker or something on some of this. Kind of see they put down a bunch of boards. There, They had quite a few guys out there that day. Um, it's no small task. Of course, uh, this is my drone footage here. And I shortened it as much as I could. Right there, of course, I forgot to hit record when they were actually making the turn. Go figure. But I shortened as much as I could, and some of this I've actually sped up to make it a little bit faster. Because, uh, yeah, this was a long, slow process over about an hour or so. And I actually, uh, yeah, it took quite a while. But, you know, it's they're literally putting a house in place, so what do you expect? So, you know, pan around. You can see it's a, it's a good-sized house. I think the total length is like 70 feet or something like that. So, not too bad. They did, uh, we did have a solid concrete pad put down. Alright, they're pulling up the driveway. There's a lot of rock on that driveway too. Let's pour it all that way. Even after we had all the rock, they actually, uh, when they brought in the concrete trucks to pour the concrete pad, uh, yeah, screwed it up a bunch. So, these guys, when they came out, when they were uh, prepping the site before they brought the house out, um, brought more gravel to add to the driveway, did all kinds of good stuff. And going from the driveway itself down to the pad where the house is sitting, it's about a two to three foot drop. You can't really tell in this kind of footage. But yeah, it's a nice little drop. They just kind of made it a, a slope the best they could to have the house, I guess, you know, go down there. I don't even remember how many axles are on this thing, but... There's a bunch. Uh, right there off to the left. And I'll see if I might even throw in a picture somewhere here of that machine that I found. Or that I went down there and took a picture of it. Right off to the left you can see this little yellow thing moving. Uh, that's actually it's some kind of big lift device with uh, big tracked wheels. They just slide underneath there and they can lift the house up and actually pivot it and move it. To where they want. It's a pretty cool little device. I always wondered how they did that. Because there's not a lot of footage of this stuff. You know. Out there that I've been able to find on YouTube at least. But like I said. I'll get a picture of that machine here in a minute. And it'll already be on there. This is a uh, sped up eight times. You can see the truck in the front. And they're just pivoting the back end of that around. To right where they want it. And then they'll be able to back it in place. Makes it a lot easier. This is just me showing off some of the little uh, flying skills. Yeah. Trying to move this thing around. This little drone is awesome, by the way. I mean, the gamble that holds that picture just perfect. And you can put this anywhere in the sky and just put the remotes down and walk away. Let's see our, a few of our solar panels there, the back side of the house. Um, that water in those trenches you see are for the power that's, uh, still waiting on the power from the power company. But, you know, the building I do have power in from the generator in that tent, and then also my solar array I have set up already. Just trying to get some good angles. I didn't know what would be the best angle to get from this, and then I am quite a bit away recording this with the drone, because I, I didn't want to be in there messing with them at all. So I just stayed back and they did their thing. And so far it seems like they've done really well <laughs> by doing it. So. You can see by the number of trucks down there. I think they had probably about eight guys out there or so. That's so what we see. One, two, three, four, five. That's at least six vehicles out there. Yeah, seven. There's none on the driveway, so. And then eight. Yeah, so yeah, I might be right, because you get the semi that's out there. 
And this here, I can only speculate, but it, you can see they got an um, uh, excavator there on the concrete pad. I'm guessing they had to use that to kind of pull it down a little bit to get through the spot before they got to the actual concrete pad. So let's let them do their thing. And this is probably going to be one of the worst and most nerve-wracking. Because you got all those guys around. You got the guy in the truck. I'm assuming they got headsets on and stuff. If anybody's ever actually been part of a house-moving team, you know, let me know. Is that what most people do? I guess now it'd be calling each other with Bluetooth headsets in. All right. They're making the move to the back. And, of course, right here in just a second... I was thinking about bringing the, the drone back. The battery was getting pretty low. I had to cancel the return to home. Around 20%, I believe. Got one more little pan shot. And, yeah. Went back, changed the battery. Came on back out. Like I said, I, I wanted to get the best footage I could, but I really didn't have a clue what angle to take it from. This is sped up as well. I was like, nah, top view pretty cool and this i thought you know that trucks uh, yeah those semis have some good power or those houses aren't nearly as heavy as i thought they'd be because uh yeah they pull it back up at one point to uh, straighten it up a little bit yeah i'm sure they're they're probably nervous can be but they don't want to hit the two houses together and then the concrete pads just wide enough for the house uh I assume those axles might be uh, scraping the edge pretty close. But yeah, they got them in there pretty, pretty, pretty tight. And then once they get them lined up, they'll use that little track machine to push it together. So neat little deal there. Well, here it is. Uh, here's the house. It's been uh, two days now, and they got quite a bit done do a real quick uh walk around show you what all's done and uh what process where we're at in the process i guess right now all right well here it is you can see uh the blocks are supposed to be started next week today is thursday so yeah on monday they're supposed to be from what we understand they're supposed to be starting the blocks uh tie down straps are all in place on each corner you can see got our stairs i'll have to come back and uh plan is too while this is out, uh, I'm going to put a drainage ditch around the whole house. Coming out that way because that's all down grade for us. But it's just nice to have it here and, uh, yeah, have them working on it and getting done. A quick look on the inside. You can see that's the living room there. It goes all the way back to the kitchen. Big old beams. Uh, that's a nice view. Yeah. I still haven't been in it since they got this. Uh, the wife came over and uh, ran through it. And then, yeah, bedroom's over here. But anyways, they're coming along quick. Um, let's say that the other side's got siding on it. Let's come around here, hopefully. You see, uh, there you got siding on the walls, or this side all the way up. A little bit more of the touch up at the top. Up there, uh, they're working on Putting all the plumbing together under there. You can see some of it they've already got done. And let's go to the back. All right, now, and uh, this here, that's where the electrical meter is going to be, which seems kind of odd, but that's how it's going to work. It runs from there all the way over to that pole. And the reason being, it's out there is I'm running electric out there to the building, and it's also running here to over here, so it's going to come loop back go underneath the house there but we're still waiting on so yeah i don't know what they're gonna do with this drain it or whatever but they gotta put uh some concrete down some stakes or something and uh, basically a place to put, mount the meter and then uh yeah so that's one of the other parts we're working on that the ac of course and originally they were going to put it on the back of the house but we want to put a deck over the entire back so I asked them if they could put it over here, and they said that wouldn't be a problem. So we're actually going to put our AC over here. So it'll be out and out of the way. 
I mean, it'll be next to the bathroom window, but I think we'll live with it. It's not going to be showing, so. But, all right. That's where we are in the process so far. Like I said, they're still in there. They're not in there right now, but uh, they just left a few minutes ago. It's almost five. These guys have been really great about when they can't get, get it done. They've been getting things done, so. We can see a little bit more of the inside there. It's gonna look good. Be really happy once it's all said and done. So hopefully only a couple more weeks. And that's mainly waiting on some of the inspections and stuff I know with the electric. But all right, well that's it for now. Yeah. Got this thing uh moving along really quick. But that's it. Stay tuned. Have a good one.